Okay, please rise for your allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence for the sick, handicapped, and recently departed, and our military personnel of our community. Mr. Roll call. Mr. Henderson. Here. Mr. Petroselli. Here. Mr. Galapucci. Here. Mr. Colosimo. Here. Mr. Verducci. Here. Mrs. Schneider. Here. Mr. Shashowski. Here. Mayor Copeland. Here. Solicitor McDermott. Here. Engineer Brett. Here. I'm Joe Cover. Chief King. Chief Costain. <laughs> Director Miss. Um, I have a first word of business. I'm going to turn this over to Mayor Copeland. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Petroselli, would you please come forward? I'm very surprised as a tailor. I come with the sweater or with the jet, with the, just the shirt. I don't know anything about it, so Thanks you have to, to excuse me. <laughs> Thanks to our manager for realizing that these people needed recognition for their service to our community. Each letter reads the same, so I'm just going to read one letter. Dear Mr. Petroselli, I write to sincerely congratulate you okay. on earning the enclosed PSAB award. We appreciate your commitment to public service and for being an exceptional leader in your borough. Please accept the enclosed award as a token of our appreciation for all of your well-intentioned governance efforts. Our entire team at PSAB looks forward to seeing you in 2022. Congratulations and best wishes, Chris Cap, Executive Director. And your plaque reads, in honor of service, Association Award to honor faithful and effective service Board of Directors Award presented to Nino Petroselli Sr., Bridgeville Borough, by the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs in recognition of 30 or more years of dedicated service. 2021, Thomas C. Bramley, President, Christopher Cap, Executive Director, and actually Mr. Petroselli has served us for 32 years. Forgive my attire, I could have come with the tuxedo, it would be better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. President Henderson. This is my suit. <laughs> In honor of your service, Association Award to honor faithful and effective service, Cecil K. Lever Knight Award presented to William Henderson, Bridgeville Borough, by the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs in recognition of 10 or more years of dedicated service. Thomas C. Bramley, Senior President, Christopher Cap, Executive Director, and actually Mr. Henderson has served us for 18 years. Service, the Association Award to Honor Faithful and Effective Service, Cecil K. Lever Knight Award presented to Bruce Taylor Yuchi, Regional Borough, by the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs in recognition of 10 or more years of dedicated service. Thomas Graham, the President, Christopher Cap, Executive Director, 
and Mr. David Gucci has served us for 16 years. It's an honor and a pleasure to be a part of the community amongst these gentlemen who thank you. In honor of service, Association Award to Honor Faithful and Effective Service, Cecil K. Lever Knight Award presented to Joseph Colosimo, Bridgeville Borough by the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs in recognition of 10 or more years of dedicated service. Thomas Graham, the President, Christopher Capp, Executive Director, and Mr. Colosimo has served us for 11 years. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you all for being here. Uh, okay, let's move on to uh, public comment. Um, Bob Fryer. Thank you. I'd like to mention that the Steeler game starts at 8.15. Does it make it snap? I gave you guys comments. These are the comments that these people sent back to me about two years ago from a survey that we gave out to all four of the churches in Bridgeville, asking them how they felt we should solve our traffic congestion problem. And then once you get a chance to read through them, you'll see how meaningful they are. But the, the other thing I wanted to mention about the, the survey that we did, we gave out 400 questionnaires with a drawing, a map on the back, and, and we asked them questions. 200 of the people mailed them back to us. That's almost incredible. They had a 50, 40, 50% 50 return on the first survey about uh, the traffic congestion. It indicates um, how angry they are with us uh, about the problems that our traffic congestion is being created for them. And just to kind of get kind of the point straight, the traffic congestion has is, is caused the collapse of the Bridgeville Central Business District. This has caused a great reduction in tax revenues coming into the community, which is a risk, which has caused uh, the families in Bridgeville to pay a higher percentage of their average incomes than in any other communities around us. But what I want to get to primarily is, uh, have you? guys <clears throat> done any thinking about how to prevent PennDOT from building a toll facility on I-79 right next to Bridgeville? We, we have. We were uh, <coughs> at our meeting prior to this was in uh, involving legal matters and, and uh, uh, we oppose obviously the, uh, uh, the tooling of it um, and then we will respond to and I mentioned what a traffic person told me uh, last week or two weeks ago. He said the place to put such a toll facility is between the Kerwin Heights exit, I'm sorry, between the Carnegie exit and the Park Road. He said that way there are no, there's only one uh, perpendicular side road where people can get off that don't want to pay the toll going to and from work every day or wherever they're going, it, will, uh, it, will, it won't disrupt their the community like it would if they do it here in Bridgeville. We're going to, we'll independently replay with our already inadequate uh, transportation. We're on board with our state rep and our uh, senator and, uh, and our, our uh, neighboring communities. Good. Good. That's all I wanted to mention. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Petroselli. Okay, I only have one thing to say. This is a repeat. I would like to see four signs, stop signs, on Presley Road at the top. There's only two right now. I know it's not your problem, it's probably the state. But you can refer to them if it's all possible. Thank you. Thank you. We'll put that in the public safety committee. Thank you. Okay. Anybody online? 
Okay. All right, let's get on with the uh, regular order of business. Uh, I need a motion of, to approve October 11th, 2021 regular meeting minutes and October 27th, 2021 special meeting minutes as submitted. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Let the record also reflect that we did have an executive session from 6, or 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. for legal and personnel matters. I need a motion to approve the November 2021 bill list. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. We need a motion to approve the November 12th, 19th, 26th, December 3rd, and 10th, 2021 payrolls. As said, moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I, I do have to make a comment. <laughs> But standing uh, during the election time, there was I had uh, someone come up to me and said um, they were surprised how quickly we can go through some of these things. And, and I have to share that this is the business that we have done the prior month. We, we were just taking uh, action on, on all the business. So if it does appear we're going quickly, this is not new to us anyway. So I thought that was worthy of staying. Uh, I need a motion to authorize the advertisement and public display of ordinance number 1024, an ordinance of the borough of Bridgeville amending its official zoning map to rezone parcel 255-E-280 from conservation to residential one. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to authorize the advertisement of a public hearing for the zoning amendment outlined within proposed ordinance number 1024 for Monday, December 13th, 2021, 7 p.m. in Council Chambers. As said, moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to approve the final design of the Chartier Street Welcome to Bridgeville wall as outlined in the plan dated October 21st, 2021. Uh, under comment, um, PennDOT is, is building as part of the South End project building a gateway wall along the creek. Probably the best way to describe it, right? Uh, along the right side. Right side. Right. Right. Along the right side, okay, yeah. And it will say welcome to Bridgeville on it. And there was there was uh, a few designs that were presented to us. We're agreeing on the designs that were presented to us. Hey, Bill, I had, Bill, Bill, I had one question. Go ahead. So from your uh, message, they're building a little sample of it before we do a final approval, correct? Correct. Uh, the motion is to approve the design because uh, there was a change in the design. Basically, it moved the welcome to Bridgeville down closer to the corner by where the handicap ramp would be. So it actually could be red versus cars blocking it. Uh, but in regard to what the actual plot looks like, uh, there will be a sample segment built off sites that we could go see. So there is a chance for um, one last one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, any motion uh, for the second? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. We need a motion to authorize entering into agreement with municipal advertising consultants for the preparation of the 2022 borough newsletter. This is the same company that in the terms of the 2021 newsletter. So moved. Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We need a motion to authorize a disbursement of $3,739.25 from the Capital Project Fund to Independent Enterprises in the amount of $3,739.25 for parcel payment number two, final of the Storm Scepter Improvements Project. Pass it, move the second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. We need a motion to authorize a disbursement of $15,166.71 from the Capital Project Fund to Jet Jack Incorporated for partial payment number three, final of the Bower Hill Road Storms or Stormwater Improvements Project. As so moved. Move. Uh, Joe and uh, Nino second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to request PennDOT to complete the speed reduction study of Bank Street. So moved. Questions? Good. Is it just, just a going through Bank Street? Or are we going to look at some other streets, the streets as well? So this is in conjunction with their plan to, to pave um, Bank Street. And I, 
I mean, we can we can look at other streets. I think, but this uh, particular motion is for just for that, that, yeah, that project. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to request the Shar West Cog to reject bids received and rebid CDBG catch basin replacement project as bids exceeded budget and grant award and ask that the project be only rebid for inlet number two and three on Station Street. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to accept the resignation, the resignation of Tim Nath from the Bridgeville Planning Commission effective December 31st, 2021. So moved. Second. Under comment, I will be disappointed to see him step away. He's a good tremendous asset. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to authorize a borough engineer to prepare plans, specifications, and bid the blight removal project for properties funded by the awarded 2021 state blight grant. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. We need a motion to authorize or ratify the execution of temporary license right of entry agreement <coughs> between the borough and TA Robinson FLT to facilitate repairs to borough storm sewer facilities on the property located at 1321 Lachlan Run Road. That is tax parcel ID 254-N-194. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. I need a motion to approve and authorize execution of the renewed police officers collective bargaining agreement. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries. Simply move to the other words. Yeah. 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 Because of the new sunshine wall, to add a new item to the agenda, you first need to do a motion to add that item to the agenda, pass that, and then you can act on that item. Okay, so I'll need a motion to add the uh, the execution uh, of the public works selling the parking permit. So moved. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? The motion carries. So now I'll take a motion to approve and authorize ex execution of the renewed public works collective bargaining agreement. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Um, I'm going to open that up for any public comments or discussion. So it was a renewed or it was a new agenda item. Do we have any comments? Let's see that. And what's, what's the new public works contract with? Um, what's the increases, decreases? Yeah. Uh, to summarize it, it's a five-year contract at three percent. Three percent a year. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay. I need a motion to accept and pay any commission due October 2021 real estate tax collector report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the September 21. Uh, Treasurer's report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. I need a motion to accept the October 2021 police report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Now on the committee reports. Uh, administration, Virginia Street. Excuse me, Bill. Yeah, I'm sorry. Are we going to do anything with the public works? Mm -hmm. We just did that. Did you do what he said? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, administration. Um, thanks, Bill. Um, the uh, active transportation meeting was held on October 19th. Just wanted to let you know that it was really well attended. Um, a great deal of input was provided that evening as well as on the interactive website, the map that's on the website, which is still up and available for comments if you have anything else that you'd like to add. Um, we have new resident packets that continue to go out to all the new residents. Um, still have a lot of new homes um, being sold. And the quarterly updated newsletter you should have received last week uh, with some of the articles and publications, you know, updates on um, 
ordinances as well as meat collection, et cetera, et cetera. And it's also in businesses and on the website, so you can refer to that. Thank you. Uh, finance, Joe Reducey. Uh, thank you, uh, Bill. Uh, as far as the 22 budget, uh, the proposed budget has been completed and will uh, be passed out on Monday. Uh, we're having a special budget meeting November 16th at 6 o'clock. Uh, meeting agenda um, will be included. Unfortunately, Alcasan did increase their fee 7% next year. Um, and the 22 budget will reflect that increase from Alcasan. And uh, we had our liquid uh, fuels fund audit uh, for 2020, which was completed on November 1st, and no findings uh, were uh, found in that audit. That's all I have. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Any questions for Joe? I shall move. No question for me. <laughs> Parks and Recreation, Joe Velasco. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Uh, work started on Churchill's Park on the uh, Spring Bank uh, mediation thing. I went down there this morning, and they basically got the whole bank almost complete. There were huge pieces of riprap, I guess, climbs down the down there. It looks amazing. I mean, extremely looks better than it is. So we worked smoothly on every say in six weeks. We might be quicker than that. They really do well down there. All the restrooms in the parks are closed uh, for winterization, so just be forewarned. Go down there. Prepare before you go. Uh, the fire ring down in McLaughlin Park was completed by an uh, Eagle Scout candidate by the name of Kyle Hinderrager. He did this project to, uh, for us to get his Eagle Scout match. Hopefully, uh, you should get the uh, approval, I guess, for his program, I guess, first of the year. And hopefully, in the spring, we'll have a little ceremony down in the park to dedicate it and maybe give him some public recognition. And last but not least, in the cog, we had a uh, representative from Keys Rocks passed away November 1st. We the president of Rado. She was a former uh, treasurer of the college, a nice lady, who would have missed. But, uh, that's all I have. Any questions for Joe? Joe, do you, you put the, like that picture you showed us of the screen bag? Was it on the website? The one today was. Yeah. Typically, I can post it on the yeah. Facebook page. Because you can see some of the progress being made around town. <clears throat> Joe picks a lot of photos of the projects going on. In the, it's nice to see things happening when they, when they are in action. Right? Um, public Works, you know. I want to give permission, Mr. Uh, chairman, I delegate my Vice Chairman, Joe Colossum, to read the report. Okay. Okay, uh, just a few items here. Uh, curbside leaf and brush collection is ongoing <coughs> through December 10th. Brush driver collection program started on November 1st. Uh, flood mitigation work. Uh, crews have been rooted sediment from a walk around with uh, culverts and good two comparable to the charge of Jewish Creek back channel. This is the third time we've had to do that this year, so I guess it's just going to be an ongoing process in Phenotum, I guess. Um, street sweeping, the pit district, district ended on Halloween, and can't uh, find the shops are doing a lot of different equipment maintenance, uh, transmission lines, radios installing. He's busy guy down there. All the salt, salt spreaders, unfortunately, are being placed on the trucks this year. That's all. It is the season. Any questions for Nino or Joe? Public works. All right, public We did a good job with public work. With a few people we have, Mr. Chairman, they are absolutely fantastic. And that's it. Uh, public safety, Bruce Gallagher. I don't have any report, but I'll take the stop sign issue under advisement. Check with Chad and, and uh, Joe. Thanks. See what we got. 
Can I ask where those stop signs would be considered? I don't, I don't know. I mean, where on Presley Road? The very top, where okay. two roads come off. Oh, okay. That's, okay. Mr. Petricelli, uh, he's been uh, telling me about that for many, yeah. many years. That really needed something. Yeah. I think about safety should definitely. He already made the conditions so, uh, to look at it. Just for clarity. Yeah. Uh, Mayor Betty Cook. Um, on Saturday, I presented a proclamation requested by the family of the 12 year old boy from the Chartier family who passed away. That's, that's it. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, police Chief's absent. He's on vacation. Yeah, on vacation, right? Uh, Solicitor Thomas McDermott. Um, thank you. I don't have anything to add in my written report. Thank you. Any questions for the solicitor? Uh, Borough Engineer Kevin Brown. Uh, nothing additional uh, to our November 4th written report. Any questions for the engineer? Our chief is absent. I didn't see anyone. Who's not that right? And South Virginia means he's absent. Uh, anything from the Historical Society or Mary Wise? The program for this month is going to be Queen Elizabeth I Renaissance Queen. All right, thank you. What's the date on that? I'm sure it's on our website. It's the last Tuesday. Uh, Bridgman Library, Library Representative. No report, no report. Thanks, Rick. Uh, Parking Authority Representative. Well, as you mentioned earlier, there was a motion from uh, planning to council to approve the rezoning of those lots on Calvert Street and uh, from conservation to our lot. Also, too, like BJ said, the active transportation public meeting occurred on the 19th of October. The Flat 50 residents in attendance. The next steering committee meeting is December 1st. And then last but not least, we are looking forward to new commissioners soon. Thank you. Yeah, you're dwindling. <laughs> that was just a couple there. Please help. <laughs> Send it up right away. That seems like a good management. Yeah, in reality, I mean, there's so much good momentum with that planning commission that, uh, you know, We've had some transitions and whatnot, but there's just there's a, a tremendous a lot of things going on in the community. So we do have some folks that have applied for it. We're going to we'll find you some help. I mean, if I can just speak, I mean, we, you know, we lost Larry, we lose the Dan. They were both invaluable. And now our president is really transitioning. So yeah, we can we could yeah find somebody, find some new people out there. People can do it. We will we will help. We'll find you some uh, Borough Manager Joe Cowan. Uh, maybe just to uh, expand on what Justine was uh, talking about. There was a change, if you notice on your agenda, regarding the rezoning of those Calvert Street lots. Originally, it was two parcels that was recommended for Planning Commission to be rezoned from conservation to residential one. Upon conversation with the property owner of the adjoining lot, she wishes that that parcel remain conservation. So to honor her desires, that was taken out. So uh, the ordinance was amended by the solicitor and in your packet, and it's only the requesting lot of parcel 280. So we'll have that parcel uh, posted within the next week so that we can have that hearing before our next council meeting. Um, as the finance chair discussed, the draft 22 uh, budget is prepared and as presented. I look forward uh, to answering any questions we may have within the week. And that should be a very informative uh, meeting that we have here next Tuesday. Uh, my written reports are included in your packet. If there's any questions, I'd be more uh, than willing to answer. Any questions for the borough manager? 
Thank you, Joe. How about new business? Any new business? I've got something. Um, I do know the Shelsky Twins, they do a, a fundraiser canned food drive for our local food bank every year, and I know those boxes will be going out soon, so look for those in your local businesses, hopefully our borough building, police station, fire department, and hope everybody can contribute and help out. So thank you for your continued help. Thank you, thank you. And those all go up to Bethany? They all go up to, yeah, the Bridgeville Area Community Food Bank, yes ma'am. Thank you, sir. Anything else under new business? Steal our game. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Here we go. Almost. Almost. Why don't you care? Almost.